Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Math with Dr. War. We have our first video of GED Mathematics. We're focusing on basic math and we're going to start with multiples and factors. Now before we jump into the mathematics, we're going to look at some vocabulary terms. Now the first vocabulary term that I want to talk about is factor. When I say the word factor, I am talking about a number that divides evenly into another number. So suppose I ask you, what is the factor of 10? So you'll ask yourself, well, what number divides 10 evenly? Some of you would tell me 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 2 is a factor. 10 can also be divided by 5 evenly. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So 5 is also a factor. 10 can be divided by itself. 10 divided by 10 is 1. So 10 is also a factor. And then don't forget about 1. 10 divided by 1 is 10. So 1 is also a factor. So whenever you hear the word factor, always think about a number that will divide evenly into another number. What do we mean by multiple? Now when I talk about a multiple, a multiple is a number that is the product of the number and any non-zero whole number. Now when I say non-zero whole number, I mean don't use zero use any other number so we will start with one. So if I ask what are the multiples of four, I will go, oh multiples of four, okay that's going to be four times one is four, four times two is eight, so that's another multiple, four times three is twelve. So sometimes when I think about multiples, I think of counting in the numbers. So if I count in fours, it's 4, 8, 12, 16. Those are multiples. So a multiple of a number is the product of the number that you're finding the multiple of. And you're basically multiplying by the counting numbers, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now another number we have to talk about is a prime number. Now when I say a prime number, that's a number that only has two factors, itself and one. So the way I think about it is a prime number is a number that can be only divided by one and itself. Because remember, when you hear that word factor, I want you to think about dividing. So a prime number, an example would be two. The only two numbers that can divide two is two and itself. The next prime number would be 3. After 3, it's 5. Now, the only number that can divide 5, the only two numbers, is 5 and 1. The next prime number would be 7. The next prime number after 7 would be 11. Now, sometimes students get confused because when we start to count the count in prime numbers, some of them see them as, oh, that they're all odd numbers. So some of them are odd, but not every odd number is a prime number. Like nine is an odd number, but nine can be divided by one. Nine could be divided by three. Nine can be divided by nine. So there's supposed to be only two factors. This 9 here is being divided by 3 numbers. So remember, a prime number is only a number that can only be divided by itself and 1. Now in this lesson, you have to be able to find the least common multiple, LCM, and the greatest common factor, GCF. Now when I say the least common multiple, that word least right here means that we're looking for the smallest number that is a multiple of two or more numbers. So we want the smallest number that is a multiple of two or more numbers. When I say greatest common factor, now again that word greatest means I'm looking for the greatest number that is a factor 
of two or more numbers. So you see how that word comes into place. Greatest number that is a factor of two or more numbers. And if we're talking about least common multiple, I'm looking for the smallest number that is a multiple of two or more numbers. So we're going to be finding the least common multiple and the greatest common factor. And for both of these, I'm going to be using the latter method. So let's begin. Now I have to find the LCM and the GCF of 18 and 24. So I have 18 and 24. So because it's the ladder method, it looks like I'm going to be using a ladder. And we're going to be using prime numbers and we're going to be dividing. What is the smallest prime number that would divide 18 and 24? Now both of these are even numbers and even numbers are divisible by 2. And we all know 2 is a prime number. Now 2 goes into 18 9 times and then 2 goes into 24 12 times. Now we have 9 and 12. What is the smallest prime number that would divide 9 and 12 evenly? Now 9 is odd and 12 is even so 2 is not an option but both of these can be divided by 3. Now 3 goes into 9 3 times and 3 goes into 12 4 times. Now I have 3 and 4. Now what's the smallest prime number that would divide 3 and 4 evenly? Now the only number would be 1. So once I get here and realize that they can only be divided by 1, I'm going to put it right here, I know that I am finished. So I want to find the LCM. So let that help you. LCM. So we're going to make an L. So here's our L. Notice it's in the red. The LCM would be 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4. 2 times 3 is 6. And I can cross them out like that. 6 times 3 would give me 18. And then 18 times 4. So 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is 7. Remember, you cannot use a calculator on this topic on the GED. So the LCM is 72. Now we want the GCF. And we're using the same ladder method, so we don't have to divide this again. However, for the GCF, we're just taking what's on the outside right here. So your GCF is 2 times 3, which is 6. So we're looking for the greatest common factor. So we're looking for the greatest number that will divide 18 and 24 evenly, and that would be 6. And for the lowest common multiple, that would be 72. We want to find the LCM and the GCF of 36 and 72. So we have 36, 72. I like my ladder method. Now, 36 and 72, they're both even. So I'm going to divide by 2. Again, I always start with the smallest number. So 2 goes into 36, that's 18. So that's like what's half of 36? 18. And then 2 divide 72, that would give me 36. Now 18 and 36 are still even. Remember, even numbers end in 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So anything that's even, I can divide by 2. 2 goes into 18 nine times, and then 2 goes into 36, that's 18 times. All right, I'm looking for a number that would divide 9 and 18. That would be 3. So do you see how your times table comes in here? So I have a video on times table, and I'll link it at the end. 3 goes into 9 three times, and 3 goes into 18 six times. Now 3 and 6 
can be divided by 3, so notice that my ladder is continuing. 3 goes into 3 one time. 3 goes into 6 two times. Now 1 and 2, the only number that can divide them is a 1. So I am finished. Again, I want the LCM. So make your L. There you go. That's your LCM right here. So my LCM is going to be 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 1 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 3 is 36. 36 times 1 is 36. And then 36 times 2 is 72. So my LCM is 72. Now I want my GCF right here. And for the GCF, remember you just want the outside part right here. You just want that horizontal. So your GCF is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 3 is 36. So your GCF is 36 and your LCM is 72. Sometimes the GCF or the LCM might be one of the numbers that is given to you. Let's find the LCM and the GCF of three numbers. So suppose I want to find the GCF of 32, 40, 16. So again, I have my ladder. So I have my 32, my 40, my 16. They're all even, so I can divide by 2. 2 goes into 32, 16 times. 2 goes into 40, 20 times. And 2 goes into 16, 8 times. 16, 20, 8, they're all even, so I'm going to divide by 2. 2 goes into 16, 8 times. 2 goes into 20, 10 times. And 2 goes into 8, 4 times. 8, 10, and 4 are all even numbers. So we can divide by 2 again. 2 goes into 8, 4 times. 2 goes into 10, 5 times. And 2 goes into 4, 2 times. Now we get here, you have 4, 5, and 2. The only number that can divide them is 1. So here, your GCF, remember your GCF is always what's on the outside here. So your GCF is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. When you want to find the LCM of three numbers, now this is where something special comes in. We're still doing the ladder method. So remember when we divide it the first time, let's write my numbers again. We divided by two and we got 16, 20, and eight. And then we divided by two again and we got eight, 10, and four. And we divided by two again and we got four, five, and two. Whenever you're finding the LCM and it's three numbers, and this only works with three numbers, I want you to think of the word shear and peer. So here, all of these were shearing the same number two. But then when we got here to four, five, and two, well, we couldn't shear. 
because there was no number that would divide 4, 5, and 2. So we're going to peer. Who could be peered together? The 4 and the 2, not the 5. So I'm going to bring the 5 down. What would divide 4 and 2 evenly? Huh? That would be 2. So 2 divided by 4 is 2. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. Now here we have 2, 5, and 1, and there are no peers. 2, 5, and 1, all of them can be divided by 1. So we're finished. So we want the LCM. So remember, make your L. There's your L right here. So your LCM is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 1. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. And that has to multiply by 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3 is 15. And 1 is 16. And 160 times 1 is 160. So your LCM is 160. The method for GCF is the same. However, the method for LCM is not. Basically, if you see a pair, you're just going to keep continuing dividing using the ladder method. Let's try it again. We have to find the LCM of 16, 12, and 24. So we're finding the LCM. So we're going to start our division. They're all even. So we're going to divide by 2. So that would be 8. Half of 12 is 6. Half of 24 is 12. And remember, shear and peer. So 8, 6, and 12, all of them are shearing. All of them can be divided by 2. 2 goes into 8 four times. 2 goes into 6 three times. 2 goes into 12 six times. Now, 4, 3, 6, hmm, are they sharing a number? Uh, no, this is even, this is odd, this is even. So we can pair together. Now, you have a choice of who you're going to pair because you could pair the 3 with the 6 or you could pair the 4 with the 6. So we're going to pair. I'm going to pair the 4 and the 6. So the 3, I'm going to bring it down, right? And the 4 and the 6 is who we're working with. And you can divide by 2. So 2 goes into 4 two times. 2 goes into 6 three times. Okay, look what we have here. Hmm. Do we have any peers? Because they're not sharing. So we're back to pairing. Who's going to come down? The two. And we're going to divide the peers, which are these two, right here by three. And the peers was the four and the six up here. And when we divide, three goes into three one time. And three goes into three one time. So our LCM is here on the outside. Remember LCM, you make that L. So your LCM is two times two times two times three times two times one times one. 2 times 2 is 4, 
4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 times 2 is 48. And we all know 48 times 1 is 48. So our LCM of 16, 12, and 24 is 48. Now remember, if I wanted the GCF for this, your GCF would have been, and let's put this in green. So your GCF would have stopped here because you're not going to be pairing. So the GCF would just have been this, which is two times two is four. If we wanted the GCF. With GCF, we don't do any pairing, only with LCM. I hope this lesson has been helpful. I'm going to leave you with a little exercise in the description. You can click on it and you can try it. It's five questions, find an LCM or GCF. I'll make it six. So you have three LCM and three GCFs so that you can practice. There will be multiple choice. My next video will be word problems because you know this is GED and when they come to you with LCM and GCF, it's going to be in a word problem. So now you know that adds another layer of difficulty. So I wanted to teach you the mechanics first and then we will tackle the word problem because I want that when you read the word problem, you have to identify if it's LCM or GCF. They're not going to give you a word problem that says at the end, oh, find the LCM. Oh, no, they're not. So when you read the word problem, you're going to have to figure out from the context clues in there, am I finding LCM or am I finding GCF? So look out for the second video on LCM and GCF. I hope this video has been helpful. Again, subscribe to the channel if you're new and if you like the content. And as always, like, share, comment. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Have a great day and good luck on your GED.